Hi, I'm Day Day Wilson, and I'm going to show you how to make coconut macaroon cookies. These are a bakery and deli favorite, but they are so easy to make at home. Once you see, you'll never have to buy another one. And the ingredients are really simple as well. Egg whites, sugar, some vanilla, and then my twist on this is that we're going to use half sweetened flaked coconut and half unsweetened. This is going to keep them from being too sweet. Sometimes I find the, the sweetness a little over the top, but you need some of that sweetened coconut for that great chew. So they're made on top of the stove first before they go in the oven. So the first thing we need to do is get our egg whites. So I'm going to separate four eggs. So to separate the eggs, we're just going to wrap the egg firmly on the side of our bowl and let the egg white, it's the egg white for this recipe that we want, let the egg white fall into the bowl and I'm gonna save the egg yolks over here for another use. So we did four large egg whites, and my recipes will always specify for large eggs. Baking recipes should specify. If they don't, and it just says four eggs, assume that it's large. Now I'm gonna show you one other way to separate egg yolks, and that's using your fingers. You crack the egg, and then literally let the egg white pour through your fingers. Your fingers are very sensitive and you can actually feel the egg yolk. You won't break it. And it's a, an effective, although messy way to separate the egg white. But I just wanted to show you an option. To the egg whites, I'm going to add some sugar and some vanilla. I'm going to whisk that around and then I'm going to add first the, well it doesn't matter what order, but what I have here first is the sweetened flaked coconut. This is the coconut that you're going to find in most any supermarket in the baking aisle. We're going to add that in and then the unsweetened coconut you can see looks a little different. It has a finer shred. It has no sugar added as at, just like it sounds. It's unsweetened. So this is going to add maximum coconut flavor without adding any more sweetness. You're most likely going to have to go to a natural food store or a health food store for this uh, or special order it online. So you can see so far, all we've done is really dump and mix. It's that easy. Now I have this in a, uh, a stainless steel bowl because you do need a heat proof bowl. This bowl is gonna become the top of a double boiler. I'm gonna switch to a spatula at this point. So I have a bowl with water right here on my burner. I'm gonna put this on top it's just touching the water and I want to, I'm going to cook this for a few minutes until the mixture gets a little glossy and shiny and you'll see as it cooks changes very subtly. Uh, really you want it to be warm to the touch. That's another way to tell when it's done. So the mixture has gotten glossy and I can feel that it's warm, which is exactly where we want it. This only took a few minutes. It's gonna take you less than five. So I have a jelly roll pan here. This is my favorite kind of cookie sheet to use because it conducts heat so evenly and well. I have it lined with parchment paper. This is a great scoop for uh, making the size cookies that I want, which are about golf ball size. You could certainly use two teaspoons to dole out the coconut batter, but you'll see that the scoop is just gonna make things go really quickly and efficiently, and also is gonna help us um, have a really uniform shape to our cookie. So these cookies don't really spread, um, so you can put the cookies fairly close together, and we're gonna be able to get the whole batch on this one sheet. And you can do a double batch very easily. You just obviously have to have a larger bowl. These are gonna go into a 375 degree oven for 10 minutes or so, maybe 13 minutes. You just want them to be evenly golden brown, tinged on the outside. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. When the coconut macaroon cookies are done, this is what they're gonna look like. They're just gently golden brown around the edges. They're still gonna be really moist in the center. Um, they're different than a cookie, like a chocolate chip cookie, which you can overcook so easily. These are gonna always retain this wonderful moisture inside as long as you go for this kind of color. This is how you know they're done. Very often, if you uh, 
look for coconut macaroons in bakeries. You'll find them sometimes like this and sometimes half dipped in chocolate. And it's as simple as melting some semi-sweet chocolate in the microwave or in the top of a double boiler and just dipping half into the chocolate just like that. I usually scrape off the bottom a little bit, put it back on the parchment paper, and then I usually pop them in the refrigerator for a few minutes until the chocolate is set. I usually store these in the refrigerator if they're chocolate dipped and they will certainly keep for a few days, but bring them back to room temperature before serving. And then I think it's always great on your serving uh, tray or platter, or in this case, we have this tiered um, display unit. I think it's great to have some half chocolate dipped and some plain so your guests have their choice. And in this way, you've made one recipe, but really have two different kinds of cookies to offer. So moist, and I like the ones with the chocolate. Mmm, perfect. Sweet, but not too sweet. The coconut flavor is really prominent. You're not gonna have to go to the bakery again for these. They're so easy to make. Make sure you find both coconuts. And for more information, you can visit me, Day Day Wilson, at bakeopedia.com, the baker's resource. Mm -hmm.